Howdy ho. Good morning. Today. Today is Freedom Friday in my world. I did have my Freedom Friday on Wednesday this week. So I think... Anyway, we'll see what happens. I've got a few things that I'd like to have happen today. Um, it just depends on how productive I get throughout the day because I've got a lot of things to get done. So I can decide on that, right? I can decide how productive I'll be today and how I'm going to look at situations that might come in and take away my focus on my productivity. And the other thing that you can think about, morning Jules, is saying thank you to everything that does pop in. Because look, there's some days when like I have so much stuff that just pops in to take my attention away from the very thing that I'm going towards. And I can get a bit frustrated. I'm sure you can too. I have learnt, and I'm still learning, to say thank you for all of these things. Because a lot of the time, one leads to another, to another, to another. Now, if you go about your day fulfilling your wants so fulfilling your desires so I just think about Wednesday and everything that happened on that Wednesday my and it, like it was a big day I started at 20 past one in the morning and I could have said no to any one of those things and it probably would have changed what happened throughout the day because if I hadn't have gone to lunch with Kerry and Brendan I wouldn't have felt so jealous about going to or not going to Luke Combs that I would have looked it up again and got a ticket. If I hadn't have been up that early, I wouldn't have had that little rest in the morning. And if I hadn't have got up that early, I wouldn't have had this immense feeling of gratitude. So everything that happens throughout your day is happening for you. And it, it like sometimes you can think, oh my God, if this is happening for me, what the hell have I been thinking? It's all good. Everything is good because it's leading you to where you want to be. As long as you've got your focus on that. Some of the times we get our focus on where we don't want to be, like I do not want this and I do not want this and then you can start to see things lining up for that very thing to happen. That's where you've got to switch over and go, hang on a moment, what do I want? And thank you for turning up to show me where my thoughts have gone. Because you're, you're so bloody powerful beyond measure and you can just, you, you can see and you can line up the fact of this. Like, have you ever looked in the mirror and gone, oh gee, I look tired today. And then throughout the day, somebody comes up to you and says, oh, are you okay? You look a bit tired today. You're like, what the hell? You did that. You did that. So you say, thank you. Okay, I thought that and brought it in. There's a manifestation for me. And then it could be that you think about somebody and then they call you. Well, like my sister yesterday, well, when I told that story yesterday and she's like, oh my God, I was just thinking about that girl that you used to live with and I couldn't remember her name. Like, because I was thinking about her, it's gone out there. So just think like, and, and Donna got the answer back because she's like, I wonder what, what was that lady's name? And then she's watched my live and got the name. So you just got to think you're creating all the time. Now your beliefs create like ahead of you. Now you, there's there's look you've got 15 million beliefs so don't even think that you can get rid of them. Not all of them anyway that are not helping but one by one you can. Now there are ailments in my family that if I wanted to invest in I could have them too. I don't want them though. So I focus instead on health, not not getting it, but on my health and what I can do each day to be more healthy. There are other people around me that don't get the results that they want or they don't aren't as productive as me. And I can go, oh yeah, well, they're not doing it, so why should I? Or I can go, hang on a moment, what do I want? I'm going after it and because I want the feeling of fulfillment each day. I want to know that I've won the day. And one of the easiest ways to win the day is to start to say thank you for everything because as soon as you say thank you, the energy shifts and you will find something good in it. 
and then that good will lead to more good. It's really, really pretty simple. If you get stuck in traffic, say thank you for the moment that you just get to sit there and maybe listen to a song. Who knows? If somebody cuts in front of you, say thank you because it could have stopped you from being in an accident just down the road. If you're late, say thank you because something good's going to come for that. If somebody says something that's not so nice to you, say thank you because it's not your problem, it's not your, none of your business. Say thank you to yourself for not taking it on. I start to say thank you for so many more things than you're saying thank you for now. Somebody wants to hold the door open for you, let them. Say thank you. If somebody wants to help you with anything, let them. Say thank you. Because when you can get into receiving and saying thank you, you're actually allowing a lot more in. So really start to think about thank you. How can I say more thank yous throughout the day? What, what else can I say thank you to? Even if at that moment it feels bad, still say thank you because it's showing you where your thoughts or your energy has gone in the past and it can help you change it in the future. You like my new top? I went shopping yesterday. Had a lot of fun. And I did not look at any price tags. I chose not to wear my glasses so I couldn't see them. <laughs> so I chose by want. That's something I teach people too. Because um, if you want something, you can always, you'll always find a way. Just like going to Luke Coombs. I found a way because I want it. Decide what you want. Line with it. Align with it. Feel it like you've already got it and say thank you as if it's already happened. Okay, something for you to think about. Freedom Friday today. Really start to put yourself first, even if it's for half an hour. Put your feet up, grab a book or have, grab a cup of tea and just lay there, close your eyes and just daydream. Imagine what you'd like to be doing. Oh, thank you, Julie. All right, thanks so much for being here. Have a great day. Bye-bye.